All right, guys, welcome back. After a ridiculous three-week delay over lifters, we're finally going to get back to uh, putting the motor back together. Basically, I'm just going to drop in the lifters, put the head gaskets on, put the cylinder heads on, and then I'm going to put the uh, ARP head studs in. Let me explain to you why I am going to put the ARP head studs on on after I put the cylinder heads on. Let me grab one here. Okay. Just pretend all the head studs are in. I'm here by myself. I don't have anybody helping me. I've got these wires in the way. I've got this brake booster to contend with. Those wires back there. And what can happen is as the cylinder head is riding down the ARP head studs when it hits the threads as you're wiggling it on especially because I'm here by myself you actually can get metal shavings as the cylinder head rides down and scrapes against these threads and where are those aluminum shavings gonna go into the motor and I don't want that. But you have these uh, dowel pin locators. So those will hold the cylinder head in place. Won't let it drop down. And it'll also line it up for the most part. So it's not a big deal. Everything's ready to go. I cleaned up. Uh, I cleaned up the block surface as best I can. It's pretty damn clean. And here are the lifters. What was the problem with the lifters? Um, these are Morel lifters from Texas Speed. Uh, I forgot how much they were. Two or three hundred. I'm so frustrated at this point, I don't care. I had um, LS7 style replacement lifters by Delphi, which I purchased from Texas Speed. And as I was, and as I was spinning some of the rollers, I think it was about six of them had a lot of friction. Like there was some material in there, but I... Blew them out, used brake clean, oiled them, w I tried everything. So six of them still had a good amount of friction, but three out of the six would literally get hung up as you would spin the bearing. So do yourself a favor. Check the roller, check the lifters, roller lifters, and check that the bearing spins freely. Okay. See, I was just spinning the roller lifters, uh, the rollers like this. This one has no problems, but no matter what I did with those Delphi ones, I couldn't get six of them to spin freely. So I had to return those. Then UPS had um, what they called a sorting error, and I didn't get them for like another 10 days past the due date. It was ridiculous, absolutely ridiculous. So, here we are, we're getting ready to uh, put the engine back together. So, that's it. Let me get the lifters in place. Then I'll put the uh, head gaskets on, then the cylinder heads, and I'll be back. Alright guys, hang on. Now I'm also going to be coating the rollers with the uh, Lucas Oil Assembly Lube. And I'll put some at the top, too, right up by the uh, plunger there. All right, I'll be back. All right, guys, I just want to show you the difference with these Morel lifters. Okay, here is a stock lifter. See that stock oil hole? And you see these notches, these flat spots? Okay, so this is how you insert it into the lifter tray. So it's a stock lifter tray. Stock lifters in there now. The oil hole for the stock lifters, the way they're situated, is on the side. So oil is going to come out and then lubricate the lifters that way. Now, with the Morel lifters, oh gosh, this shit is slimy and sticky. Oh, okay. With the oil, I'm going to place them with the oil hole towards the top. 
And the reason being, oil will come out the oil hole and then lubricate down and around towards the bottom. Where if I put the oil hole on the bottom, I think oil would have a little harder time working its way up towards the top. Just makes sense. So that's just one difference between the two. All right, guys, I'll be back. Okay, I got the uh, Morel lifters and the lifter trays in. Now you're going to take the uh, lifter tray bolt. This is a shoulder bolt. It's 10 millimeter. You can see right here. This end right here, this tip, that will make contact with the block. And then the lifter tray will be pinched between the block and this outer shoulder here. And it gets torqued to 106 inch pounds. So I got my inch pound torque wrench set up. All right, I'll be back. Okay, the two lifter bolts are in. I put a little bit of blue Loctite. Can't hurt. Um, okay, now we will put the head gasket down and then lower the cylinder head into place. I'll be back. Okay, I got the uh, head gasket on. <clears throat> the only thing you have to do when you do the head gasket is just make sure that the word front is positioned towards the front of the motor. That's it. All right, now I'm going to drop the head in place. I'll be back. 